Hello and welcome to Morgan Smiles. Very quick introduction because it's a bit blowy and I forgot my microphones. Today I am going to go and have a wander around the Haynes Mose Museum down in Spartford in Somerset. Beautiful part of the world. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try something slightly different this time because I'm going to take photos and then I'm going to do a bit of commentary over the top. Might be easier than taking a film when you've completely forgotten to bring all of your video equipment. Anyway, hope you enjoy. So the Haynes Motor Museum is, of course, the home of Haynes uh, Manuals. And of course, that was all started by John Haynes back in the day when he built this amazing little Austin 7 special and produced a little booklet to accompany the project. And that's how it all started. Also in the same room as that is this lovely little Elva Couriers. As somebody that used to live in uh, Hastings and around Be uh, Bexhill area, that's really cool to see. So we're on to the main room now, uh, as you read, head down to the uh, the red room. Gorgeous array of very, very old cars. I have no idea what most of these are. I believe that one's a Lanchester. It's really pretty. Um, and then into the red room. And nothing prepares you for this. It's just a sea of red. Oh, lovely little midget. I've got a bit of a thing about midgets. No, I will own one at some point in the not too distant future. The... Um, but the red room itself is just full of cars that are red and uh yeah nothing prepares you for it it it's quite quite a something um there are some amazing cars in here uh not just cuz they're red but uh you know as you can see here there's alphas there's um oh, there's a maserati merak ss a friend of mine owns one of those in gold uh more alphas of course there would be they're red um little morgan with a jap engine in the front very very cool looks like a lot of fun mazda mx5 sat next to it of course why not uh you've also got a, a 240z samurai there or samuri however you pronounce it um uh, jensen uh jensen healy sorry sat next to a uh, a porsche there um there are literally some amazing 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 cars that are all just and you can walk right up to them and look right inside them um i wouldn't advise opening the doors on them as one of the uh, individuals did that i was uh walking around the museum with uh not part of my party but um yeah not not the done thing lovely little sunbeam tiger there um would have preferred to see it out on the road very rare ac427 um yeah, and I was rather taken with this Spitfire. Very pretty little car, that one. Uh, on the end of that little row is a Rochdale Olympic. I used to have a part ownership in one of those. Um, uh, I'm not sure if that's a real uh, XKSS in that lineup, but that's a real Facel Vega. Ah, there you go. There is the uh, uh, Rochdale Olympic. Gordon Keeble amazing motor car now we're moving away from the red room here but it's still an amazing looking car talking of amazing looking cars citroen sm like a spaceship alvis td21 is that not sure yeah maybe it is i was quite taken with it anyway my wife's favorite car of the day uh porsche rs carrera very nice uh, and opposite that was this uh, Rolls-Royce. I, I find it quite unusual to see XR2s and 205s in a museum, but hey, I think that's just because I'm getting old. Now we move into the, uh, I suppose, British room is the best way of describing it. It's uh, full of wonderful cars from the 50s, 60s and 70s, all British. Uh, my son took that. That's a um, Triumph Dolomite Sprint. Um, and then on the end here is the little standard uh, 10, I think that one was. Triumph Vitesse Convertible. Uh, that's my version of the same photograph. I prefer his one, actually, to be honest. Uh, an array of uh, 50s and 60s Fords, Anglias, Console and Cortina. Uh, Riley Kestrel? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Cyclops P4. And then on the other side absolutely fantastic uh sharp suited p6 um there was this uh victor um very striking two to own color scheme vandenplas uh princess 
opposite a little peanut. And then you had over here, you had the Sunbeam Talbot 90 parked next to a Singer Gazelle. Uh, a bit better lighting on that, that shot. Austin Nash Metropolitan. Couldn't work out if it was an Austin or a Nash. Uh, Humber Hawk parked next to a uh, Humber Scepter. And then another car my son took a photo of. This is lovely. This is a, a Rapier H120. Uh, Wallace and Gromit van. For those that are uh, younger than me. Austin Allegro. Really quite liked that, actually. It's a very distinctive looking car in lime flower. Uh, amazing interior in it. Uh, into this lovely little uh, room full of uh, mainly MGs and Morris Garage uh, cars. Um, I was really taken with uh, some of the cars in here. There was a. There's also up on the wall. Here we go. Uh, KLG plugs. I've actually got a set of KLG plugs in a little box uh, that was a uh, presentation pack for the Hillman Imp. Believe it or not. Uh, Moggy Minor split screen. How. English can you get and this was gorgeous that uh, MG I wish I knew more about these older cars because um, they're they are really lovely to see and also around there was loads of um, trinketry and memorabilia and yeah lovely absolutely lovely the sort of thing you see at auto jumbles and yeah into the Ferrari room alien territory for me because I'm not really a Ferrari person I just know that they're Ferraris um, yeah, impressive to see. Not really my bag of spanners, but um, yeah, my wife's actually driven one of those, believe it or not. There you go. Wonderful little pedal car, that. It looks like a, an E-Type. And then parked next to that is this GT40. Don't think it's a real one, um, but... And over here was uh, a Michael Schumacher car parked next to an Allard. Um, and then RS500... Uh, and part next to it was this cutaway RS500, um, complete with a cutaway engine for all you uh, Cosworth fans. Really lovely looking to thing. Uh, Mexico, wish I'd bought those when uh, you could still afford them. Peculiar looking car, I wish I'd marked down what this was. Very strange looking thing. Uh, D-type Jag, not sure if it's a replica or not. Uh, a cup, what, that car, the, the yellow and red one, actually used to be raced by a Haynes team. Uh, Porsche 911. And then this, uh, I have took the photograph of that because this is actually Graham Hill's um, car. Very, very cool to see. He's a hero of mine. Uh, Harry and Will's go-karts for all you royalists out there. Uh, Lotus 11 replica. And then on to the American room. Now, I have to be honest, my knowledge of American cars is lacking, but I know that is a Cord, and I know that is a Duesenberg, and at one time it was the most expensive car ever sold at auction. And I know that is a... Ooh, Auburn. Auburn Speedster, uh, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure you will. Uh, that's a Stanley Steamer in the foreground. Um... I only know that because we looked it up. I was actually really, uh, I really like that little Woody. And that's a Cobra, real one, not a fake one. Uh, more muscle cars. And we have here a Willis Jeep. And in the background, yeah, there's a DeLorean. I've got a thing about DeLoreans. Yeah, blame back to the future. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah, Corvette with pearly paint. Very nice. Uh, a huge fire truck thing. Um, you could have parked an imp in the back of that. Um, and a lineup of Cadillacs and other such like. Uh, I believe that's a Corvette. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, El Camino, uh, I believe. Um, and another Caddy, a 59 Caddy. And the best looking American car, in my opinion, mainly because of the Dukes of Hazard, the Dodge Charger. I actually prefer it not in yellow, uh, orange rather. And that's the uh, the view of the American room. Now we're into motorbikes. Now, again, I'm not an expert on motorbikes, but I know what I like. 
and uh, these were very pretty indeed. Uh, that's a Bruff Superior. Uh, apparently my great aunt used to ride a Bruff Superior. Hmm, apparently so. Uh, Franny B, uh, Franny Barnet. Um, very pretty little bike, that one. Then lots of uh, golden age of motorcycling bikes in the, uh, this little upstairs room, uh, all packed away, including a, an AA bike up there. Like I say, I appreciate the engineering behind bikes. Uh, I don't ride one myself and I don't really have any in intention to start learning. Um, there's too many other people on the road, unfortunately. Lambretta, complete with mod bits on the front. Uh, I believe that's a bathtub Triumph. I'm actually surprising myself with what I know here. I um, think that's a Norton. I think that's our Honda as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. And that's a Triton. I know that because I can read the tank. So back downstairs after a, some, a spot of lunch. That's a lovely uh, RS200. And this thing had a, a 27 litre tank engine in it. Wow. There you go. Um, monstrous special thing. Yeah. Um, looks like fun. I'd like to have a go. Triumph 2000. Absolutely lovely cars. Into the Formula One room uh, with, uh, it was uh, Williams cars actually on display. Um, some amazing uh, machines from that actually raced. Uh, that's Mansell's um, Williams, uh, and uh, a couple of more modern ones. Uh, I was quite taken with that one because I always thought Montoya was one of the most entertaining drivers of the uh, modernish age. Uh, a, an adjusted F1 car by Pastor Maldonado. Then into the other room, which has got uh, this lovely E-type Jag and uh, a wonderful collection of uh, Lotus uh, cars, uh, a little Elan there. Sat next to it, behind it rather, was this uh, original Elite, uh, which would have the uh, Coventry Climax engine. Always fancy in the Elise. Uh, they're now too expensive for me to be able to afford. Likewise, part next to it, the uh, Europa, that's a Series 2. Um, I love the, love the shape of those things. Uh, and a Mini Moak for all you Prisoner fans. Uh, a collection of unusual Minis there, uh, including in front of it this Cutaway. I um, wonder if it's one of the ones that actually drives. Ah, uh, Lotus Esprit Turbo. Yeah, very James Bond. Jensen Interceptor. Car that ticks over and uses more fuel than my imp on a 50 mile run. Uh, Aston and uh, Jaguar. XJ220, most of those are now in museums, unfortunately. Uh, that's a, one of the big Jags, probably a Mark 10, Mark 2 Jag, proper baddie Jag. Uh, XK150, XK120, and an XK8 in the corner. Uh, wonderful lines on that Jaguar, really, really attractive. And a huge Jag Mark 10 um, sat in the corner. Aston Martin Lagonda, William Towns design, uh, parked next to a DBS. Um, and this is the uh, SD1 Estate. Wish they'd made those. Very cool. 2CV, early one. Uh, Citroen DS, or is it an ID? I'll never get them quite right. And a Bricklin. Um, peculiar lines on that. Um, and of course you've got the uh, Land Rover sat there oh I was very taken with this this is a uh, Gaz um, part next to a Tatra it, you, these things are just huge you don't realise quite how big they are I used to live next door to somebody that had a DAF 33 uh, there's the Land Rover again TR8 used to have a TR7 and the Hindustan Ambassador. Toyota MR2 Mark 1. I had one of those as well once upon a time. I think that just rusted to nothing from memory. <laughs> uh, 
and a tuk tuk. And then we have the Imp Californian. Um, very pretty little car. Would have liked to have taken that one home, uh, but no. And a cutaway Imp engine. Looks like an Imp Sport engine at first sight, and then you realise it's not. Uh, Honda S600? Yeah, I think maybe. Uh, Fiat 800, is it? Part next to a uh, Renault 4 CV. Uh, Mini Cooper. Bournemouth Reg on that. And a uh, Trojan bubble car. And then another bubble car, a Smart. Yes. Golf GTI, wish I kept mine. Uh, worth a fortune now. Um, yes. Nice a German line up that. And the little Messerschmitt bubble car. Um, with the. <laughs> yeah, Sinclair C5. And a couple of film star Mercedes. I, I can't think see those without thinking film stars. Uh, Renault Caravelle. And uh, T Di Tamont, Di Tommaso, Pantera, is it? And uh, BMW 2002. I had one of those for a long time. Loved it. Little Trabant. X19. Again, had one of those. Rotted to nothing. And we're back to the Mercedes again, because they were just so attractive. Very pretty cars. And then finally the uh, Renault Caravelle engine. Leave you with the BMW 2002. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye! <laughs>